Could this be the ultimate crap strategy? Stay tuned and find out for yourself. Hey guys, welcome to Martin Point. Well, today I feel like I have a great system for the ones that do not want to be really aggressive and press their bets too much, but more or less to get out of the hand quickly and be able to put profits into your rack. So what we're going to do is the setups can be a little bit different than normal. We're going to have, it's called 204 across, but what's basically going to happen is we're going to set all these up levels that you're going to collect $50 per hand, okay? You're going to collect $50 per hand is what it's going to look like, and I'm going to put the numbers on the screen so you're going to see it, okay? So basically, you're going to have $42 on the 6 and 8, okay? So what happens is $42 on the 6 and 8 will pay you $49, or in this case, it's going to be 50 for one. On the five and nine, they're going to be set up at $35. Each of these is going to pay you also $49 or 50 for one. And then the 10 is going to be at $25. These are going to be buy bets. It would cost you a VIG, but it'll pay you $50 and then for the dollar for the VIG. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to set this up. What's going to happen is, first of all, we're going to get a point established. We're not going to play a pass line. We're not going to play a don't pass. We're only going to be playing box numbers. And we're going to say the point is going to be on the nine. Once you get your first hit, it doesn't matter which number it is. Any of these bets are going to pay you $50. So let's just say it's on the five. That five is going to pay you $50. we are going to take a dollar out. Let's just say this is our dollar. We're going to take a dollar out, and we're going to pull this bet down. Now, a lot of people are like, well, why are you going to pull your bets down? Because you want to try to generate profit and get out of the hand. So this is going to come back to your rack. Now, you do take the risk of having the rest of these bets out there and hitting that five again. That's obviously a risk, right? However, in this case, we're going to leave it, keep it off. Let's say another number hits. Let's just say it's a six. Again, that's a $42 bet. It's going to pay me another 50 for one. And I'm going to, again, pull the bet down. Now, remember, my initial investment was $204, right? So basically, after just two hits, here's what I have. I have $150, $177. So I have $177 out of this hand, and I still have some great bets. At this point in time, if you want to continue to spread it out, you can. Or if you want to follow the trend of getting the hit and pulling it down, that is up to you. I'm going to probably, in this system, I'm going to take it. As soon as I get the hit, I'm going to pull that bet down, limit my exposure on the table, and put money into my rack. Once the, the new point is established or once a seven out, I'm going to reset it back up at 204 across, and I'm going to rinse and repeat. Again, this is going to aim for the short rolls, typically seven or less, where you're not pressing your bets, but instead you're actually going to take the bet and put it back into your rack and collecting that payment, guys. Wait for this rollout. I'm going to show you how we do, and let's see if we can make some money at the end. Okay, guys, we're starting off with a $1,500 bankroll. Um, a lot of people say, well, that's probably not enough because you're going out for 204. But because we're not pressing, we're actually putting money back into the rack each hit. I feel like that's, a, that's more than equitable enough. Um, again, I'm starting off with $1,500. We're going to go ahead and get this set up. Let's get a point established. We'll jump the bowl here and get a couple of dice. Let's grab these two here, set these two to the side. And uh, let's get a point established. Here we go. All right, it's going to be on the nine. Let's mark a point on the nine. That's going to be our first point. So let's mark it on the nine here. And then we're going to drop down $204, okay? So basically, the dealer's going to have to do a little bit of exchanging here when you do this. Um, so basically, you're going to have this. Drop down $204, okay? And then you're also going to put down a dollar each for the buy bets. If it's a pre-buy or post-buy, whatever it is. If it's a pre-buy, you're going to need to drop down an extra $2 uh, for the dealer there. So again, we're going to be set up at $35 on the 5 and 9. And it's going to be $42 on the 6 and 8. And then these are your caps that are ready for it. And uh, we're ready to roll, guys. And now it would take probably the first two times telling the dealer your setup. Tell them an individual, okay, I want $42 on the 6 and 8. I want, then you give them another, you know, $35 on the 5 and 9, then a quarter. Because telling them 204 across or everything pays 50 is probably going to confuse them. I would tell them what their bets are first. Once you do it once or twice, they'll understand what you're doing. And you'll probably have to do that for the next deal or two. Okay, guys, that is going to be a 527 right out the gate. You've got to imagine a 0.7 ounce has been a trend to my channel. The last video I did, I had a 0.7 out on the very first roll, and we had to climb back. 
But uh, that's okay. That is part of craps, and that's how it's going to work it. So let's go ahead and pull all these beds back. Again, everything here is live, organic, non-cut rolls. That's what we do here. Everything is out the chart here. All right, let's go. Let's get another point of salvage. Here we go. And that's going to be a 617. That's going to be a come out winner. You know what? I didn't dump the ball for the new shooter. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's just change those dice out. And uh, let's try it again. Here we go. Come on, shooter. Another 437. Oh, my gosh. It was a 4-3. It rolled on me. Uh, that's three in a row. Let's do something different here. All right, there's a nine. That's going to be the five, four, nine. Let's mark the point on the nine, and uh, let's do this again. This is the ultimate crap strategy, right? So let's do it this way. I'm going to drop down 200, and uh, it actually be $206 if you want to buy the four and 10 if it's a pre-buy. So I'll just go ahead and do that there. And, uh, again, that's $204 uh, for each of these bets. Let's go ahead and set it up here. Again, it's going to be uh, 42 on the six and eight. And it's going to be $35 on the five and nine. Everything here is going to pay you $49 or 50 for one. We got our point established. Let's go. And that's an eight. That's going to be the six, two easy eight. All right. So that's going to pay us again, 50 for one. So I'm going to take the $1 out and this is going to come straight to our rack. Okay. All this is going to come back to our rack. Not a bad deal. Again, you're trying to get that money back into your rack from, especially from the loss from the come out loser on the first one. Now, again, you have your, your risk of hitting that eight again with it not being up there, but you're hoping that it hits the other ones. In this case, that's not. That's another five to seven. Dang, you got to you gotta hate that, right? Uh, let's do it again. We're going to set it all back up. Um, not working out so far, right? Uh, looking, for, looking for some better rolls, looking for a better shooter here. Let's turn the puck off, and uh, let's get some new dice here ready. Uh, let's grab these two here. And uh, let's get another point. Here we go. There's a five, six, one, seven. Good gosh. They are coming in slews right now. And uh, all right, there's a five. There's a four, one, five. That's going to be the no field five. Let's mark the point on the five. And uh, again, drop down another, man, another 200. And uh, let's call it $206 uh, because that'll, that'll cover your, your buy bet on the four and 10. And uh, let's get this all set up here. It's going to go. This again, thirty-five on the five and nine. One more, one more five there, and then forty-two on the six and eight. Just like that. Again, once you tell the dealers a couple times, they'll figure it out and they'll know what you're doing. All right, here we go. We got the five as the point. Let's go, shooter. And there's a four. That's gonna be Big Joe from Craps Master Journey. That's a four. That's gonna pay me fifty dollars. Again, you got to pay the vig for that payment. Uh, so here, we're gonna pull that bet down. That's going to go back into our rack. All right, there we go. And there's an eight. That's going to be a five, three, eight. That's going to be the easy eight. Again, another $50. It's, it's a beautiful payment when it happens. It pays you 50 for one. We're going to pull these bets back. It's going to go back into our rack just like this. I may have to get another rack here in a minute uh, just due to the excess, uh, excess here. All right, let's go ahead and do that now. Put the excess over here. Put the quarters back there and do that here. All right, and let's make sure we grab our ones. All right, let's go, shooter. And there's a six. This is working out great. That's going to be the four, two, six. That's beautiful. Again, and it's going to pay another 50 for one, just like that. Let's pull these bets back. These are going to go back into our rack. Set them back there for now. It's going to be all of our profit. Again, we are still battling back. We got three numbers to work with. Hoping you hit those three numbers. Let's see how we do. And there's a four. That's a repeat of the three, one, four. Again, we are not on that anymore. And there's a five. All right, we've hit our point. We've hit our point. This could be a four, one, five. This could pay us, again, 50 for one. And at this point in time, it's totally up to you. If you want to say, you know what, I don't feel like I'm just going to hit the, the four or the nine and the 10. Um, you can take, what is this? That's 50. You could take this right here say, you know what, let's just grab the six and eight if you want to do that at $30 each and wait for those things to roll out and then keep going. All right, let's do that. And there's a 10. That's Big Ben down there on the end. Let's mark the 10. All right. So we're going to go just go again. That's You don't have to do that. But the odds of you hitting every number is pretty is pretty slim. But putting it on the 6 and 8 there is probably not a bad idea if you get down just, just to just two numbers. All right. That's going to be a Yo 11. That's a mid no Chiro. And there's a 6. That's going to be the 4 2 6. That's great. It's going to pay us $35. Again, you have the option. Do you want to go ahead and just collect that or do you want to go ahead and pull it down? 
we can go ahead and just pull it all the way down, put that money out of it, and then right at this point in time, you know, you're just waiting for the seven to roll. And uh, let's go. And there's another Yo 11 mid Mochiro. And there's Aces. How about that? That's the dots in both places. And there's a seven. That's going to be the six one seven. This happened to be a perfect rollout, right? So literally, we only missed out on this little bit of money here. Not too bad. We hit all the numbers. We distributed it out. What a perfect scenario on, uh, I guess, the third series. And uh, let's do this again. Let's get another point established. Let's pull these dice out. And, uh, and here we go. And that's going to be it's right on the edge. It's going to be a 516. It was a 516. It wasn't a 7. It did roll right on the edge. Let's go ahead and drop it down. Let's drop down. Let's go out of this, this rack here. Let's call it 204 across. Mark, mark the 6. And uh, drop these down. And let's move over there. And again, 35 on the uh, 5 and 9. And it's going to be 42 on the 6 and 8. A little bit of a, a little bit of chip exchange for the dealer. That's part of it, right? And this right here. And let's go ahead and drop down two extra dollars to buy our four and ten. And I think we are all square. Let's straighten these up a little bit, making it look a little bit nice, a little bit nicer. All right, let's go, shooter. All right, it is going to be a four. How about that? Right on the right on the six. It's another four two six. That is going to be our point. That's going to pay us fifty for one. Okay, let's drop down a dollar. Okay. And it's going to pull these bets back. It's going to come back to our rat just like this. Okay. And let's turn the puck off. And here we go. And that's going to be back on the six. That's another 426. Let's mark the six. And uh, let's hit the other numbers. Let's go. There's a one, two, three, crap three. No help to me. This is the ultimate. Maybe. Is it the ultimate crap strategy? We'll see how we end up doing. Uh, that is a hard four or the two, two. That's going to pay us $50. Go ahead and drop down another VIG here. And uh, let's go ahead and pull these bets all the way back. Goes back into our rack. Just like that. All right. Here we go. And there's a 10. All right. This is working out. This is working out. That's Big Ben. Another $50. Let's go ahead and drop down another dollar for the VIG here because it's going to cost you. And go ahead and put that back into the rack. And uh, let's go, shooter. And that's a one, two, three, crap, three. No help to me. And there's another 10. You know what? We hit that 10, but we already pulled it down, but that's all right. And there's another three. One, two, three. Hitting those crap numbers. And there's your five, two, seven. So we got a couple hits out of it. Uh, didn't get everything that we wanted, but we did get a couple out of it to get out of the hand. So now we're here we are. We're going to go ahead and just pull these bets back. And here we go. We get all set back up again. Let's turn the puck off. And let's dump the bowl. Get a couple more dice. Those are pretty good ones, by the way. And here we go. Let's go, shooter. And it's going to be on the eight. That's going to be the six two eight. Let's mark the eight and drop down. Uh, drop down some more quarters here, right? So let's go down to the here. Let's go and drop these down. And again, drop down some more here for the for the five and nine and six and eight. Perfect, just like that. And then let's go and drop down. We need to drop down six dollars, anyways. Uh, two for these. And two for that. I actually need to give you two back. Just like that. All right, we're all square. Let's straighten these up a little bit. Pull those. And uh, again, the four and ten are always buy bets. Let's straighten these up a little bit. All right, let's go, shooter. And there's a nine. That's going to be the six, three, nine, the center field nine. It's going to pay us $50, right? Pull that back. And go ahead and pull this bet all the way down. I wonder if we're making any money right now. I can't tell because I know we've taken some blacks out. And there's a three, one, two, three. I know we haven't recovered uh, from the beginning, uh, beginning the two, seven outs. All right, so we go. That's another 50 for one. Okay, or trend the other way. Uh, let's go ahead and pull these bets back down. And uh, here, let's put those, let's go ahead and put those there right now. And uh, these two are going to go here. This one's going to come back. All right, let's go. That is our point, by the way. Let's go ahead and turn the point off. And there's your seven. That's a perfect time to hit it. That's a 617. Again, not playing the pass line. That doesn't help us out there. And there's a nine, 549. All right, let's mark the point on the nine. And looking for any of these other numbers, right? Let's go. There's a seven out. Ah, you know what? It ain't working out all the way like you want it for sure. But that's probably on average. You get about six rolls out of it. And, uh, and you're done. So imagine if you were pressing these bets. 
If you were pressing these bets and not regressing, then you would actually be much more out of luck because you're not going to be putting anything back to your rack. So you always got to be cautious of that, of pressing your bets too early. I know a lot of people always say they always collect that first hit. Always collect the first hit in general uh, as a rule of thumbs. Um, I try to do that sometimes. Not always. All right, there's going to be the 2-2. Two -two. That's going to be the hard four, the smart point on the four. And uh, let's drop down some more money here, right? Again, it's going to be 204, 204, which is basically quarters on everything. You got $35 on the five and nine, and then $42 on the six and eight. In case you've skipped ahead, you know what we're doing. And uh, let's go ahead and drop down the rest of this. Drop down five. Let's go here, here, and um, put that one back. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, grab our big back as well, actually. That way we get it all square. All right, let's go, shooter. Ooh, them things scattered everywhere. It is going to be a 3-2-5. Let's move that over. It's going to be a 3-2-5. That's going to be the no-field 5. Let's mark it over here. All right, it's going to pay us 50 for one. Let's we'll pull that bet back, and that's going to come back to our rack. Putting that money back into your rack is always a good thing. Always, always, always. I've never complained for putting money back into the rack. And here we go. And there's going to be a 314. There's another big Joe from Craps Master Journey. If you haven't checked out his channel, go check him out. He does live videos. Big Joe, let's pull that bet back, right? It cost us a big there. Let's go and turn the puck off. Now you're looking for the up, the upside here. And uh, here we go. And there's a Yo11 mid -mo Chiro. Again, not paying the pass line. That would be a winner on the pass line. A back to back mid Mo. How about that? Not too often you see that. And there's a 527. That is three winners in a row on the pass line, but the puck is off. Uh, I don't play the pass line, but uh, but you know what? I probably should be at this point in time right now, right? All right, that was a 415. It, did, it was a 4 1. It rolled on me there. So it was smart and a point on the five. That's our next point. Again, we all set up here, $42, 35 25 waiting for these numbers to hit. Let's go. And there's another five. That's going to be the no-field buckshot right on the five. Let's turn the puck off. Let's keep it going. There's your seven. That's going to be a four three seven. We're hammering. We are hammering that pass line when the puck is off. And this is going to be back on the four to three one four. Let's mark it up. All right, here we go, shooter. Come on, looking for the six, eight, nine, or ten. And we're not. We're going to be hitting our point back to back to back to back. That would be a turn off of the point. Let's go. And it's on the eight this time. That's going to be the five, three, eight. Let's mark the eight. And uh, let's see if we can hit these numbers. Let's go. What do we got here? There's a 10. All right. We finally got another number that wasn't a point. That is a 10. That's going to pay us 50 bucks. Uh, let's go ahead and put that $50 uh, back in here. And uh, here we go. We are not paying our VIGs. Uh, let's go ahead and do that now. And I'll give you, give you that money back. And uh, let's look, look for the six, the eight, and the nine. That's good because those are the most common numbers. However, in this case, that is also a most common number, which happens to be the six, one, seven. So uh, unfortunately, in this case, uh, it did not work out well for us. So we're going to pull these bets back. Uh, we're going to lose all this again. Not too bad, not too good if you're going to be pressing your bets too much. Um, this case, we are bringing money back into the rack. That's our goal. Put money into the rack. Uh, let's let this call. Let this be the last shooter. This could be the last shooter and see how we do. Win, lose, or draw. This is how it's going to roll. Here we go. I think you got an idea of what the what the system looks like. That's going to be another three one four. The four has been hot today. The four has been hot. We've been rolling it. And let's drop this money down. Okay. And it's going to be two of four. So here. Oh, got an extra one there. And I'm not sure if I have enough for this one there. Nope, I don't. Let's go ahead and pull this back. Give another $25. 10, 10. Put that back into the rack and let's pull our big out. All right. And actually, I need to, oh, shit, they don't need to go there. They need to go here. All right. I need to pull out more for our VIG. Ah, oh, a lot going on here, right? Let me give you $3 back. A lot of exchanging. You know what? That's why you always need to tip your dealers because they are doing a lot of work for you. Make sure you work for them and give them a little bit of money. All right, here we go. That is going to be a six. That's going to be the 426. And here we go. 426. Pays us $50 uh, for one. I'm just going to pull that one out of here. You could also do that. Uh, either way, you're giving back a dollar for 50 for one. Let's put this back into the rack just like that. All right, shooter, let's go. 
And there's a 10. That's the hard 10 this time. And uh, let's go ahead and pay it. Again, another 50 bucks. Put that back into the rack. Come on, shooter. Keep it up. Let's go. And there's a three, one, two, three, craps three. No help to me. And there's a nine, six, three, nine. All right. That's great. It's a great for a last shooter, right? Pays us 50 for one. Okay. Let's go ahead and put this money back into the rack. Just like that. All right. Looking for three more numbers. Let's do it. There's another craps three, one, two, three. It was a three. It was not a five, two, seven. It didn't roll me. Here we go. And there's a five, two, seven. Ah. That's okay. It's part of it, guys. Here we go. Let's see how we fared out. I don't think that we made our money back due to trying to uh, get out of the hand on the first two shooters. Um, I feel like we got in the hole pretty bad, and I don't think we made it all back. But let's go ahead and count it up anyways to see how we did. And uh, let's see what kind of money we ended up making here. Uh, again, we started with $1,500. Let's move all this on the one side so you can see it all. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six hundred. That's six hundred. Okay, this is 500, so that makes it 1,100. Okay, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wow, I'm actually surprised we made money on this. That's $1,500. That's our initial bankroll. We made 25, we made $53. I'm actually really surprised that we made money back. It didn't seem like we made all of our money back, which kind of surprised me, but I guess I didn't realize when you're bringing that money back into the rack after it gets to hit, it actually ends up counting up pretty well for you. Uh, in this case, I was a little surprised. I thought we were down, but we wasn't. We made some money back, which is great. Um, guys, if you enjoy this content, I put out videos like this every single week. Please go and hit that subscribe for me. It really helps out the channel. We're really growing. I'm trying to hit 10,000 subscribers. I'm on my way there. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, mark the point. Stay awesome.